All right, man, peace. So, brothers, I happen to catch this very short segment on Max Kellerman's boxing show on ESPN2. And I just wanted to make a few statements pertaining to some of the assertions that he's going to make in answering this question from one of his viewers. One of his viewers is going to ask him, why is it that Manny Pacquiao is not considered the greatest fighter of his era, despite the fact that he beat his opponents multiple times, that he quote unquote fought all of his opponents in their primes, allegedly, so on and so forth. And Max Kellerman is going to respond by saying that he believes that Manny Pacquiao is the greater fighter of his era, even greater than Floyd Mayweather. And I just want to say that it's very important that when we make certain arguments, whether we're in an actual argument or debate or what have you, that we understand the meaning of the words that we're using, because that is integral in touching on the overall point that we're trying to make. And I say all that to say this, there's a difference between the term greater and better. There's a difference between the term greater and more prolific. Like for example, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is a more prolific scorer than Michael Jordan because he scored more points. But he's not a greater scorer because Michael Jordan averaged more points per game. You understand that? So Manny Pacquiao, in my view, is the most prolific fighter of his era. But he's not the greatest fighter of his era. So anyway, they're going to talk about it and I'm going to chime in. It's super Frankie wants to know. Why is Manny Pacquiao not considered the best fighter of his generation by many boxing experts, even though he fought his opponents multiple times, beat everyone in their prime? Let me say this very quickly about Manny Pacquiao. And I've never been interested in the Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather, who's the better fighter debate, because I think that if you're a three-dimensional thinker and you understand what you're watching, it's not really a debate. What I give Manny Pacquiao credit for is that as limited a fighter as he was, or as he is, he was able to optimize what he could do better than any fighter that I've ever seen. When you watch Manny Pacquiao, he's constantly off balance. He jumps in to levy his attacks and he'll often either have his head up in the air, his chin up in the air, or his head all the way down and his eyes facing the canvas. So he does things, according to the textbook, he does them incorrectly. But sometimes that's due to the fact that his arms are shorter than his opponent's arms and he's not quite sure how to attack his opponent. But he is very tricky, he's very experienced, and the things that he does work for him. But he's not someone that too many fighters are going to watch to figure out how can I copy his style because his style is not going to work for everyone. Manny Pacquiao is a preternaturally gifted athlete. So he can get away with things that a lot of other fighters could not get away with. But if you pay very close attention to Manny Pacquiao's career, He's never fought an actual real welterweight, certainly not one in their prime. So this notion, whatever Mr. Super Frankie Lampard is saying, that Manny Pacquiao, he beat everyone at their prime, that's just not true. And that's why I always say that there's narrative and then there's the truth. Because of how the media depicted Manny Pacquiao and also the subconscious assessment that we make or that we have for an Asian fighter, a race that if we're being honest, we don't normally associate with boxing proficiency. People grade Manny Pacquiao on a curve, a curve that they do not grade Floyd Mayweather. And I'm sure if you're Floyd Mayweather, you don't care because you're the most successful fighter of all time at the end of the day. Floyd Mayweather, he fought the most champions. He beat the most champions. He made the most money. That's how I assess success. But when it comes to Manny Pacquiao, I give him the award for being the most prolific fighter of his era. He won the most belts in the most weight classes. So that's what I give him credit for. But to say that he's a greater fighter than Floyd Mayweather, I look at greatness in terms of success in and out of the ring and also your skill set. And Floyd Mayweather has a non pareil skill set. He has the skill set that every other fighter would dream of when it comes to footwork, reflexes, his ability to utilize multiple tactics in the ring, flowing from tactic to tactic how he can convert from defense to offense, back to defense, so on and so forth. These are things that Manny Pacquiao knows that he'll never be able to do. That's why when they fought in 2015, whenever that was, and Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather, they met up at the weigh-in. When Manny Pacquiao was looking in Floyd Mayweather's eyes, he was telling him, thank you. And you can go back and watch that press conference or that conference right before their weigh-in. And you can read his lips. He's telling Floyd Mayweather, thank you, as Floyd is ice grilling him. Because Floyd knew that the mainstream media and Bob Arum had been trolling him over the course of the previous six years, and Manny Pacquiao knew that the marketing scheme was to troll Floyd Mayweather, i.e. fight all the fighters that Floyd Mayweather just beat to build up his own name, and also repeat fight fighters coming up from 140. 
So they were able to match make Manny Pacquiao's fights very well. They had him fight Juan Manuel multiple times. They had him fight Timothy Bradley. In the aftermath of Manny Pacquiao's decline, they had him fight certain fighters to build him back up, like Brandon Rios, so on and so forth. They matched him up very well. Floyd Mayweather is always expected to fight top champions in his weight class. So the expectations and the standards for the two fighters have always been different. And seeing as that is the case, you can never call Manny Pacquiao a greater fighter than Floyd Mayweather. He's just been more prolific. Prime, I do consider Pacquiao the best of his era. Uh, even greater than Mayweather because Pacquiao won his first title, world title, lineal title, as a flyweight. A flyweight. Didn't turn pro as a flyweight. Won his first lineal title as a flyweight. And then won titles in most of the divisions up to junior middleweight. Well, Max Kellerman, for someone who attended Columbia University, it amazes me that you don't understand the difference between the terms greater and more prolific. When you're a greater fighter, that means that your skill set is all encompassing or at least more encompassing than the competition that you're being compared to. Manny Pacquiao is great. He's great for what he did. But when you compare him to Floyd Mayweather, it's like comparing apples to oranges. The standards are not the same. The skill set is not the same. The expectations were not the same. And the results were not the same. But anyway, peace.